start your thread base just behind the eye. Once you reach the bend of the hook, cut the tag end. Now take a white saddle hackle and pull it out of the bag. Now clean a section of the stem where you're going to tie it in, simply by pulling the fluff off. Do this to two pieces of saddle hackle. Now take a clean piece of saddle hackle and tie it in just above the bend of the hook. Now tie in a second one on the opposite side of the shank. Now we're going to tie in two more matching pairs of saddle hackle. When tying in all four of these, make sure all the tips line up. After tying in your last strand of saddle hackle, make a few extra thread wraps to lock all of them in place. Trim all the tag ends, and then advance your thread over all the cut ends to help lock them in place. Next, we're going to be tying in some strands of crystal flash. We're going to be center tying in a couple strands of crystal flash. To do this, simply double over the flash around the thread. Slide the flash up against the shank. Then advance your thread to the bend of the hook to capture the flash. Now we're going to center tie in a couple more strands on the opposite side. After sliding against the shank, make capturing wraps back down towards the bend of the hook. Now you can trim your crystal flash to your desired length. Now we're going to tie in our pearl braided cord right at the bend of the hook. After tying it in, advance your thread up behind the eye to move it out of the way. Now make connecting wraps all the way up to where your bobbin's resting. Once you reach the tie-in point, go ahead and tie in the cord. Then trim the tag end. Our next step will be attaching the eyes and we'll be using a UV cure to help hold them in place. You can either stick the eye directly to the shank or add a small drop of the UV cure at the contact point. Then take your eye, then attach it to the side of the shank.
then cure it with your UV light. Now we're going to repeat these steps on the opposite side. Taking a small drop of UV cure, placing it where you're going to set the eye. Now attach your eye to the side of the shank, followed by hitting it with the light to make sure it doesn't move. Now fill in the rest of the space between the two eyes with UV cure. This will add durability and make the eyes look better. Then do it to the opposite side, filling in the crevice between the two eyes. Now we're going to tie in some faux tail. Now we're going to take a generous clump of faux tail and tie it on top of the shank. Keep good thread tension while tying it in, otherwise the faux tail will easily pull out. Now trim the tag ends at an angle and as close to the shank as possible. Now we are going to tie in a second clump of faux tail on the bottom of the shank. Make sure the ends of this clump are the same lengths as the ones previously tied in. Once everything is lined up, use tight thread wraps to tie it in. Then trim the tag end at an angle as close to the shank as possible just like before. Then cover the cut ends with thread wraps. Now you're ready to throw in a whip finish. After cutting your thread, use your UV cure to coat the thread wraps. You can use the nozzle to spread the cure around evenly. Applying UV cure will make this fly that much more durable.
And there you have it, how to tie a deceiver squid.